Hello everyone. Um, this video is going to be a bit of a shorter one. Uh, I'm coming to you in VR, as you can see. VR, woo, very cool. Um, this video is going to be me checking out my latest creations uh, with the Lil Tiles mod in VR because it's possible and it's actually really cool. But um, yeah, so that's what this video is going to be, and yes, I do have VR right here. It's running really well. So, yeah, I'm just going to load into here. Uh, this one. I'm going to start off with the, uh, the Volkswagen Beetle, the Aston Martin. And I actually have a house that I built that I want to check out, too. It's not furnished fully, but yeah, I'm going to check that out first. So here I am, loaded into the world. As you can see, my arms are right here. Inventory. You can even see my FPS count right there. But I'm in here. I'm in the world. So I'm actually going to do the house first, which is right here. I have the DeLorean and the Ecto-1 that I made parked out front. Um, I'm just going to go right into the house. So this thing, this house was built proportionate to my the my usual character height in game which is 75% uh, size of a regular Minecraft player which is two blocks tall but still this is built to scale of two blocks so it's the door it's actually pretty cool honestly it's quite a lot more to scale this is where I'd expect light switches to be um, uh, ceiling, I feel like, is a bit too low, but countertops are a nice height. Um, yeah, the oven it launches me back. It's all really nice, honestly. It's a really good height. Everything's nice, nicely proportionate. Uh, upstairs, in here, bathroom. It's a small toilet. That is actually really small. Um, yeah, that's not supposed to be that small. Maybe I'll fix it, I don't know. It looks really funny, honestly, that's that's hilarious. Um, that's too tall. That's really high, I mean, it's really only for natural light, but... Um, there's that. Rem I just remember, not remember. Keep in mind that this is, like, the only furnishing I have is the kitchen. And in both bathrooms are toilets, but uh, the railing could be a lot taller, honestly. Um, windows are good height, maybe a bit higher. I'm gonna go up into the attic here. How do I jump in this? Not like that, okay. So here, here's the attic. Pretty good height, honestly, for this these windows. You can see all the signaling here. All the framing. Um, I can come through here if I crouch. Um, this is pretty cool, honestly. This is actually really, really good. It's nice, nice and proportionate. Except for there are a few exceptions. A bit awkward to do that too. Um, can you? Okay, now it's time to go downstairs and check out the garage because I also built that. Actually built the garage first and then this. I actually wanted the garage to be attached, but I didn't because I'm smart. So here it is. I've got the uh, 1948 Vermont Torrent in here, along with my like Cadillac that's based off of like 60s, 70s, and 80s Cadillacs. Can you close? It's pretty good. Nice proportioning as well. Cadillac. Nice, nice sizing, um, framing right there, pretty good, nice height too though, as well, especially, storage, that causes some lag, I actually have animated this, that's pretty cool, it's a bit janky as it goes through the, uh, roof, but, that's good, this is the house that I built, and it's actually really cool, and amazing, and actually a lot better than I thought it would be. 
but don't worry. And I've already checked out basically all of these cars in uh, in VR before, but um, mainly the Volkswagen Beetle and the Aston Martin is what I want to check out now. It's a lot smaller than I expected, to be honest. A lot smaller. I thought it was the roof was going to be up out here, but. No, it's not, and it actually looks really good. And mind you, I'm I'm not super short, so I'm definitely no not six uh, six foot tall, but pretty pretty good sizing, honestly. I'm gonna actually go try to sit in this. It's, okay, that's what I expected. If I crouch down, though, it's actually really cool. Steering wheel is kind of weird right here, but. Um, a bit cramped in here, honestly. <laughs> um, it's really cool. The Aston Martin. <sighs> this is kind of what I expected, to be honest. <sighs> but it's really cool. Can you? That's a lot bigger than I actually originally thought it was. It's like the size of. Minecraft hand actually that's huge but it's not terrible actually like this what I've been doing so I've actually gotten all of the dimensions for the vehicles I've created even the Antonov um, and I've tried I've converted it to uh, how many tiles I need to place uh, and make it so I can build in Minecraft with accurate dimensions so the Volkswagen Beetle has accurate dimensions, so does the Aston Martin. And, I mean, this is a bit taller than it should be, but it still looks awesome. And, I have to crouch down. Steering wheel in pretty good position is the light switch, which is actually in a horrendous position. Um, not terrible. Kind of hard to crouch like this, though. Um, James Bond variant. It's pretty large GPS screen, I must, I must say. Um, but yeah. Really good scaling. I, I'm so good at this. It's so, it's insane. Not to toot my own horn, but there's my main car world, along with that extra house that I built. Yeah, that's my main car, so I'm going to move on to the Antonov world now, because that I'm really excited for. That is going to be a real treat. See ya in the Antonov world. Alright, I'm in the Antonov world. There's a village over there. Wow. Well. Let's just get to it. I don't. I don't know what I was gonna say there. I thought I was gonna kind of want to say something, but not. Not. I wasn't too sure. Let's get to it. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> that is massive. I cannot. It's huge. Look at the wheels. Oh my God. Look at that. That's huge. Hold on. I'm gonna go back to these ones. These are actually a bit larger than the uh, front wheels, but, oh my god, these are about, these are more than half of my height, but jeez, I can actually look in there now, wow, oh my god, <laughs> it's massive, like, I didn't expect there to be, like, a good extra five, like, not five, two or three meters in between me and the bottom of the wing. It is huge. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna open up still glitched cargo ramp. Oh my god, okay. It's huge. I mean, I've never actually been in the real one because... I mean, honestly, I didn't know about it until I started this project, but I've never been in it before, and this is, this is awesome. 
it's huge. I mean, this might the, uh, the scaling might be off a bit because this is my first ever plane that I ever built with the Little Tiles mod, and I tried to get the dimensions as accurate as I could, but for some reason it was a bit hard. There were like many different sources that claimed that it had different dimensions, and it says it's 18 meters tall, which is that's baloney. I actually tried to uh, uh, put the actual like cabin area, the actual top bit of it, at 18 meters, and it just didn't. It didn't. It didn't look right. It it looked like it was way too skinny. This looks a lot more proportionate than anything else. But cargo bay is also a lot larger than I expected. I honestly kind of felt like it was just going to be like an extra block above me, but no, it's like a good two, which I mean, there's a reason why this is the world's large, uh, this was the world's largest cargo plane and the uh, world's heaviest plane as well. It's huge and I mean, it makes sense. If it could carry like 285,000 kilograms of payload just in the engine bay here, not the engine bay, the cargo bay, it's absolutely massive. I'm going to go up to the cockpit now. The slider is a bit broken, it doesn't get you all the way, so you have to kind of fly up, but... I should close that, actually, so I can actually see out. Can, can you close? Hello? I, I want it to... why? It's not closing. Hold on. It, okay, it's, it does not want to close right now, which is really kind of baloney. Okay, it's not going to close, which is sad, but I'm going to continue going up here. Um, seems proportionate. The yoke seems to be a bit big, though. I wouldn't expect it to be that big. Sit in the chair. Could be a lot more forward, to be honest. Um, yeah, a lot more forward, because you'd expect to be able to look straight to the right and see out, but no, you have to lean forward a bit, and you can't really see much out in front of you. Probably have to do that as well. And see, the good thing about checking this out in VR is that um, you get a really good sense of scale, so if you can go in, and if just stuff seems disproportionate, you can check it out and make it proportionate in-game. Which is definitely a benefit. I'm going to check out this door, actually. It's funny. It's very funny. It's two me. It's t exactly two blocks tall and one block to the side, so exactly. Fits perfectly, and it's, be and it's amazing. I'm going to check this one out, because this one actually, the animation ended up being a lot better than that one, even if it does still clip. But, close that. I, want, I, I really want to close the cargo bay. Cargo door, come on. What? It's kind of baloney, honestly. And since I'm on the top of the plane now, gonna walk this is a thick wing I think uh, I think I measured it uh, when I was actually uh, building it I think it's a block I like that or something I originally wanted it to be two meters uh, in height in terms of thickness but I think that was a bit too much so I think this is actually really good the engines seeing them from below there was actually really cool didn't get a huge sense of scale because I was looking at the bottom of them. Oh boy. I mean, I remember in just flat screen, in the regular pancake gaming, uh, I could get my character to fit in between there and there. I'm going to try to see if I can do that. Yeah. It's huge. Like I've said multiple times before. Man, makes sense though. These needs to have such large turbines to be able to carry such heaviness and such. 
but I can't. I honestly can't believe I actually built this. To be honest, it took 21 hours to build, and it definitely paid off. This is this is awesome, and I really wish you 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 guys could experience this as well. Um, if I could figure it out, I might actually make a uh, 360 degree video for you to uh, check out in VR to see basically my perspective, which, oh man, it's definitely worth, it's definitely worth a check out, because, man, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have really words, I don't really have any words. The shelf here, the one that I kind of don't want to have. I didn't really expect to ha I didn't have an opinion on it. I didn't know what I how big it would be, but quite sizable honestly. Definitely shouldn't be there as well. Um the tail fins I wanna check out the uh logo here. It's massive. I mean this just this entire plane's massive. It needs a massive uh vertical stabilizer as well. Since it's so big you can also fit such a large logo on it. But, holy crap, I just, I can't believe I built this, honestly. It's amazing. Um, I was gonna try that, actually. I was gonna actually, uh, see if, how many cars, how many of my cars I could put in here. Um, this can definitely, I feel like this could fit most of my cars, if not all of them, just lined up right down here. All down here, maybe, obviously the ladder's kind of in the way, but, um, I should check, I should try that at some point. I'll probably do it in the, uh, um, second part to the Antonov, the original Antonov video where I fix some things and add some things. If that ever actually, if I ever, if, if I, if I ever end up doing that. As I screw up with English. But, man. Also, if I can figure out how to do the 360 video thing, I might do that. I also might add that. No, not add it. That'll have to be a separate video. What, what, I, I was going to say I was going to add it as a part of the uh, um, second part to this, the entire video, but that wouldn't really be possible. The entire thing would have to be in 360 degrees, but... Man, this is awesome. Kind of mad that I can't close this though. Oh, nope, never mind. Let's go. It's closed. Jankiness right there. Um, yeah. That was my latest th three creations in VR. I mean, y'all can't get a, uh, a good sense of scale because you're not in VR and this isn't a 360 degree video which I should have probably figure out, figured out how to do before I started recording this but probably have a second video if I feel like it but wow that's it for this video see you later later <laughs>